So when we got this transmission from Andrew, we had it uh, professionally degreased, and then I went around handing out parts to just about anyone who would take on a challenge. And uh, you know, when I got the parts back, a lot of the time people had different ideas about how a caliper worked than I did, and uh, the parts didn't fit together. What you're seeing here, the brown part is the main casing of the of the transmission where the rotating parts fit as well as the, the shifters themselves. And the pink part is uh, this nose cone that varies depending on what vehicle the transmission's attached to. There's ones for the uh, the bug, the, there are Porsches that use it, there are uh, the Volkswagen van, the bus uses it, and so forth. So what ended up happening um, is when I got this part from Mung and QA, the... Uh, holes didn't exactly line up. Now, when I got it, none of them lined up, and I had to push them on to position. Um, but I left these pretty much intact from the way he gave them to me for the demo, because these are real changes I made. And as I was you know, pushing them into place, I thought, well, that's pretty cool. It should be uh, seen by more people. So we put in the demo. So these are, if you will, some of my favorite holes to move with some twists. So here are the three holes that we're going to put into place right now. And uh, we'll start with this kind of simple tombstone case. It's kind of fun as you move it around in space. Come, you can see our uh, algorithm is trying to figure out what the geometry looks like. You know, there are no features here. And so we just try and figure out how to put it all together. We'll go into the cross section and grab the, all those uh, arcs and holes to uh, make them concentric. And you can see that. You know, in our cross section, it's just the uh, moving the 3D geometry. This one's particularly neat. Now, uh, if you just move a hole like this, you uh, just get the hole to move. But we'll use our power select, grab all the holes together. And this is exactly what I did. I grabbed them, I moved them, I said, wow, all this stuff is moving pretty much exactly as I want. And I just lined these two guys up and snapped them right to each other to make the holes concentric. Um, this is exactly what I had to do to... Um, get the parts to fit. Now here in the demo we're going to show you something a little bit more exciting. Um, we'll pop those guys together and then I think what we're going to do here is we'll turn this into a slot you know because let's say we wanted to have the same nose cone work on different transmissions or something like that we would be able to get them to go like so. So that's what I had to do to get these things to fit together. Also here in the presentation we wanted to show you a little bit of our new edge pool technology. So we thought we'd you know, improve upon the original design and strengthen this up a bit. Um, so this is kind of a this is a nice example working on a casting, you know, adding some draft in while we're doing it. Uh, a lot of other uses for this in, in terms of sort of conceptual design and conceptual engineering. But you can see here we can move the edges around. If we don't move other things, they intersect each other and uh, we call that a topology change. So it just shows how robust our uh, new edge pool technology is.